mapping of a uh, Pike Station store in New Hampshire, which was in my last video of the Pike Station and the little article that I read up on that someone had posted. Now what has literally came up is this Sunoco gas station in Connecticut as you can see it's nowhere near New Hampshire. There is a Pike New Hampshire but I didn't load that up yet to see what was in that town. Now this and I have to look up and I did find the Pike school but through my freaking phone screwing up on data and stuff wasn't able to get to look at that school yet in Pike, New Hampshire to see how far if this store even exists. They did show a map of the, uh, supposedly the, um, Pike store, which is supposedly, like I said, a gun shop. But punching it in, as you can clearly see, and this came up earlier, no results found. So once again, we're at this stage of the, you know, old news, new news, no news. Of course, this was old news of the Pike gas station, the red pickup truck. I did go over a little bit more on the red pickup truck, and it was not a Chevy. It said in the report it was another make and model. I want to say it was a Ford. But, um, whatever that may mean. But like I was saying about license plates, how you can get them, find them, put them on. But if it was unregistered and the cop told that person they needed to register it and it was in their name, all right, then, then it must have, they must have owned it. But doesn't mean someone, right, like the 112 dirt bag could have owned numerous trucks, one or two trucks. Hell, who even knows if he even has a P.O. box in New Hampshire? Because I met a guy once that lived in Mass, but he was um, using a P.O. box in New Hampshire, and he knew someone up there with the address, so that's how he got it. And, back, and this was like back in 94, 1994, so I mean, it was probably easier back then to get this kind of stuff like a P.O. box. So who knows, it could have been registered, the re you know, registration insurance ran out, didn't renew the plates, blah, 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 own a different truck and that truck would be long gone by now. But like I say in the 112 Dirtbags Twitter account, you can clearly see a red Chevy pickup truck. Which I think that's got to do with it all day. You know, someone could have got the name of the truck wrong, too. Put it up there as a Chevy. I mean, they not a Chevy, but a Ford. Dodge. I forgot to make a model of it, but it was in that report that I did in my last video. So, bear with me. I'll be back after these Portman Mountain. Rigs, ragging, rugged, riding, rugged. Rough terrain. At this apartment, not another blah, blah, blah. My goddamn mouth is all screwed up tonight. I can't talk. <laughs> but anyways, that was as I was saying. So the red truck was a factor in that case. Whether it be a different one, whether it be this one, Chevy, Dodge, Ford, whatever the case may be. But um, this store, two things either don't exist no more, which I think that's what is, has happened, maybe because after this case, um, Pike Station store. Huh. So I'm just about to wonder if they uh, close shop on that after this case. Right, bear with me, I'll be right back. Crazy and wild night tonight. But anyways, this uh, Sunoco gas station in Connecticut, as you can see it says uh, Pike 
damnation, the yeah, the now, the Nelson, the Nelson Pike. The only thing comes up when you punch in the store, so very strange. So, like I say, this store probably don't even exist no more. Whether or not it be because of the case. Closing up shop. Like I said, here comes you know, right the part with the red pickup. So, got to look deeper into this. Just saying. Just is strange how much stuff comes about, <laughs> about in this case. And, uh, you know, just thinking how many things and theories that you can just, you know, arc, arc off of this fucking thing. Excuse my language. But this case is just totally insane. So, I mean, like I said, I like to document everything. Um, the website I got this off of was insane, strange, too. I mean, so much stuff out there. I like to document little things like this just to let people know how I do this. And, uh, like I say, you got to come up with millions of ideas to make a case. You just can't keep on one scenario. And, uh, I mean, whatever, I'm getting laughed at in my videos about truth, from Truth Finder, but, you know, whatever, guy. You think it's funny? Good. I don't care. It's just you can't leave out and disclose, you know, and miss a lot of things out there that could be possibility in a case like I say good detective says and I quote to catch a killer you must think like a killer and you must come out with a lot of thoughts and theories even if they're dumb and sound silly you know what I'm saying there guy because I'm stupid all day and silly and laugh about it but you gotta come up with the ideas, buddy. Because if you don't, you miss something. There's always a missing factor, missing article, missing piece that someone always overlooks. Whether well, this girl was um, really in that much of deep trouble, which looking at the credit card things, I mean, don't even look like she even went over a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars worth of merchandise on these credit cards so you know cut some slack I mean yeah you give her the punishment you give her a probation you know you give her something that's gonna make her think twice for doing it again I mean hey <laughs> some of these rapists out there get less Time or murderers less time and a little bit of stolen money just to get something to eat, huh? I don't hold this against this girl at all. She did some stupid things, obviously. Whether she was having an affair with a track coach or not. Hey, that's the whole things of learning about the facts of life and sometimes the facts of life if you do too much wrong yeah they catch up with you they don't want to do the time don't do the crime but this is all petty stuff this girl did so I mean I wouldn't put no harsh punishment and have her just get up run and leave town for just stupid stuff. So I mean, that being said, I know for a fact that everything that's been, I've been tracking down, you can laugh at it all you want, because I think my stuff could rightfully have some meaning to it. 
of uh, giving some good points, giving some other ideas, rather than just sticking with the same scenario of, oh, this girl ripped off credit cards and she was gonna get in big trouble. And, oh yeah, uh, yeah, and, all uh, right. All right, how about you, uh, get someone in trouble that deserves to be in trouble? Like, say so. Say like, uh, Chloe asked Dashian and a friggin' man that got, uh, caught up in a brothel house. You know, that's some serious offense. Even though it's legal out there in Vegas, to me that's just straight up right dis disgusting. You know, about uh, Bella Bond. And uh, she getting away with murder. If anybody did not know who Bella Bond is, yeah, that's right, I met the dumb bitch. She lives right upstairs over my head. And uh, she's another Casey Anthony. Killed her daughter and got away with it. And she walks the streets of Massachusetts right now in Worcester. All right? Killed her daughter. Got her boyfriend caught up on crack cocaine. And yet where where everybody's on Mora here on her credit card fraud. Give me a freaking break. And Casey and Anthony, that scumbag, I hate saying her freaking name, but she's living right now in Florida. That's right. Doing what? Living free, carefree, don't care her daughter's dead. And then I heard through the vape grapevine she wants another kid. Oh my God, if they don't tie that woman's tubes, I hope someone stabs her in her throat and kills her. But, um... You know, there's more serious things out there than what this Maura Murray did. And I think it's sick for everybody just to be all looking at all this heavy duty stuff that's supposed to be, you know, what she did wrong. She didn't kill nobody. She didn't kill no Vassy. You know, she didn't do nothing really serious enough to make her want to leave town that I could see all petty shit. <clears throat> but case gets keeps getting interesting and interesting, so go over it and give my thoughts and theories. Like I say, looking up this store, nothing to be found. Must be out of business because of this case. Until the next video, be safe, take care, beware. Out.